Right. Uh, he's going to learn the fullback position. He's getting most of his reps at fullback right now. He's still a very capable tailback for us as well. But we wanted to see what he could do. He's big, strong, physical, and uh, we do want to run a little bit more 21 than we did a year ago. 21 meaning two receivers, two backs, a true fullback being one of the two backs in the title. Prospective players that come out here, what sort of things do you want to show them about the program and the direction it's going? Well, one thing, they just look to the left and see this indoor being built, so they know we're serious about doing things right in, in terms of facilities and brand new dormitories, getting ready at uh, August of 19, just going to be great, you know, all those kind of things. They, they So they'll see that, but the, the big thing is to, to watch a live practice, see how we coach, see how our, the kind of energy level our players bring, see how we compete. I mean, I, know, I saw every one of those kids, they were just, or everyone I saw on the sideline had a big smile on their face because they, they love the energy and the way we go about our business. But, And then there'll be time where they'll see some other parts of our campus. We'll do a little academics. And uh, we'll also have a time where the position coach will talk ball. And I, they probably love that the most when you 
go go and talk to your position coach about how you might fit in. Hey Mark, would would uh, would Trayon? I mean, um, would uh, Burns get the same kind of look as Trayon? Just to go back go back to that or uh, at F at the fullback? Yeah. no, he's he's working mostly as a tail. Okay, right just one of them. Yeah. Burns, yeah. Sure. Right. When you have those kids come out here, I mean, do the current players is there a step up in their energy to want to put on a little bit of a show? Uh, I, I think when there's a crowd, people tend to want to do better. When there's more, the more people that watch, it's just like in a normal game. You get people in the stands, it makes it more fun and exciting, but. It was also the first day we put shoulder pads on where we could strike each other a little bit and uh, you know do it without tackling and all that type of thing. But I think they enjoy being able to really turn it loose with the shoulder pads on where when you're just shorts and helmets, you, you're kind of playing with hands more than striking people. What's the plan for, for scrimmages and, and also would you expect that quarterbacks wouldn't get hit until the spring game? Yeah, I don't even know if we'll go live at all with the quarterbacks. I might somewhere along the way. Um, normally, the last, even la uh, last spring, we didn't tackle unless we were scrimmaging, a true scrimmage day. Uh, I may tackle a little bit here and there, just maybe pull out eight plays a day when we're in full pads and we're allowed to tackle. I might tackle just a little bit. Instead of doing some of the traditional Oklahoma drills that are tackling drills and all that, just play ball for about eight plays is what I think I'll end up doing. And scrimmages, you think maybe like next Saturday and Saturday after and then the spring game, like three, uh, is that the you're looking at? The last three or? Saturdays, so okay. next Saturday won't be a full scrimmage, but the, the third, fourth, and fifth Saturdays will scrimmage. Okay. And the fourth Saturday will actually be uh, at Hard Rock, and it'll be treated like a game format. Okay. The last one we'll do here and we'll, we'll do all every situation you could dream of. We'll scrimmage every situation you could dream of. At this point in the psych, you know, in the, in the evaluation process of these quarterbacks, do you need to see them, you know, evade the rush or anything like that? Oh, or yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll still get that. We we tell them even if a whistle blows, like if we think, if somebody believe, like a man thinks it's a sack, we might blow the whistle at that point. But even if it is, we still need to keep playing, break contain, let everybody learn to, uh, you know, cover out longer or, or, or uh, do our scramble rules as receivers eligible receivers so that's that's valuable we've heard that uh you know Cade and Nicosi you know can get away and, and extend plays and things like that have you seen that so far do you well, get a sense of how they're, they're really every one of these guys is athletic enough to make plays with their feet I really, in, in run zone read QB draws things of that nature they're all capable Mark you weren't here when Calais Campbell was but he was this long lanky defense yeah. though when he came in and Gregory Rousseau sort of looks yeah. like him have you sort of yeah he of course Greg Rousseau what six six or seven maybe he's got the probably the longest wingspan and he spreads his arms of anybody and when you're a defensive end even you know now when you're doing the zone read you're blocking everybody but the end well he's so long he, he could step here and maybe grab a back but if the quarterback pulls and runs he could change the direction he's so long he can reach out and snatch the quarterback he just he's a problem you know guys that are that tall and long and that's that's what we're looking for at that defensive end position and he, Having to mostly, replace. mostly drill work okay. to teach the fundamentals of. Like today, we were working on kickoff return, and we block on kickoff return. We're mostly just working on blocking, double teams, and how to block single block and, and kick. Return. So it's mostly drill work to teach them how to do the skills they'll need to once we incorporate everybody at the same time. I'm gonna do one more because I don't want our guys to have to wait too long. Do you feel like you want to follow up? On I that? was gonna ask sure. you just uh, anything that you can share with us at a. Uh, yeah, the top two right now are DJ Dallas and uh, Jeffrey Thomas. Catch and punch. Is that what you mean? Punch yeah. Turn, catch and punch. How are they doing? Well. Because it's so different as we've talked about. Um, mostly really good. <laughs> but it's not real until.